This is a Norway spruce, and we typically like to try to, to trim our Norway spruces into cone shape. We like trimming them into that cone shape because of the winter winds and uh, lots of the snow loads that we get during the year. If you imagine, we went through and we trimmed all these guys through the corners and edges here, all the way up to try to make a nice cone to it. And if we had not done that, it was just say, like, take a look at this guy. You see how these there's like four or five major leaders to it. Next year, when it grows out, it's going to grow right from the tips. And as it grows out, this will be able to catch more and more snow. And I'll be adding more and more weight to it. Since we cut these guys, there's only that much snow on it. And that is a little bit of weight. And this layer has just a little bit of weight. And then this layer has a little bit of weight. It's, it makes it so that none, none of the lower branches and none of the branches have too much weight. The snow is evenly put onto the tree. But if you, like again, if you don't do that and you let them to grow out longer, it gets longer. The further away the tree, the branches from the trunk, the more leverage snow has on it. And there's, the fewer branches you have over top of it means more snow can get onto the branch. Another uh, reason we like to put them into like a conical shape is that when the wind blows on it, we like it not to have one or two major branches that sway a lot. We like to have all the branches about close put together so that it makes it more of a wind break, more of a windscreen. It helps it for taking lots of wind too. Thank you. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.